What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here, and uh, it just seems like the scandals, scandalous, whatever you wanna call it, just continues. I mean, recently with the strike that was applied to Kyle, um, there was the strike that was applied to Linus last year, um, and we nearly got our own strike for simply wanting to give you guys something for free. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about that today, and then uh, a little plea from you guys too to help us come up with some content ideas for later this year, because we kinda wanna shake it up we want to shake that tree a little bit and see what falls out. Hopefully it's uh, not strikes. With its aluminum bezel, solid construction and adjustable base, the vast 35 inch ultra wide 100 hertz VA panel from Massdrop offers performance at an affordable price. Learn more about this drop by following the link in the description below. So as some of you have probably noticed, the link in our giveaway for the BLD giveaway that we did uh, last week or whatever, whenever you guys are, I don't know, days are all blur because I just moved. Anyway, that's besides the point. I digress. We did the giveaway or launched the giveaway video with the uh, Gleam link, which is what we've been using for years now to kind of control the contests. And what I mean by control the contests, it's to make sure that things are kept fair. Gleam has a very good way of determining which are the, the spoof accounts, the spam accounts, the multiple accounts that are created in an effort to kind of circumvent measures to keep it fair for the giveaway. And usually when we do these giveaways, we'll have anywhere between 100,000 to maybe three or 400,000 entries because usually there's two or three ways to enter my giveaways. Unlike some people that would totally abuse the Gleam system and have 25 different ways to enter that you could do daily making it have millions of entries, really reducing your chances of winning because it's like, unless you're gonna follow on Instagram and follow on Vimeo and follow on Twitch and, and all this stuff, which I never required by the way, um, then it just got so big. It was, it, it was easy to, for those measures uh, and people to cheat. So usually we do these giveaways, I'd see you know 100,000 or so, maybe 200,000 uh, entries. It would give me a list of about 10,000 of them that were considered suspicious and it would give you reasons as to why. And usually it was because of duplicate IPs and duplicate usernames like worth one number difference and that sort of thing. And so you could keep things as fair as possible. So it's something we've always done uh, and used for years. In fact, full screen partnered with Gleam years ago to give us that platform to be able to hold our uh, public contests and giveaways and stuff to make it just easy. Because back in the way, the way we used to do it back in the day, We'd use a company or a website called random.org. And what you could do with random.org is you could just put in there, grab a list of comments on this video and put in a link. Or if you used a hashtag on Twitter for the giveaway, like hashtag Jay's Two Cents Giveaway, anyone that ever tweeted with that hashtag would be automatically entered because we could tell it, go grab all the entries from those hashtags, randomize it, give me one winner, and that was how you verify it. But the problem is there was no way to determine how people were cheating with that because it just randomly grabbed an entry. So we stopped using random.org a long time ago in lieu of Gleam. Well, fast forward a few years, um, what's sort of been happening is YouTube, as you guys have noticed, has been really kind of falling behind in terms of tools. As the channel has grown, as the platform has grown, so have a lot of these contests and stuff, and YouTube has no mechanism whatsoever for us to be able to uh, run these giveaways. So we turn to third parties like Gleam. The issue is that even on Twitch, there, when you do giveaways in the chat and stuff like that, has built-in tools so that you can manage the giveaways and not have any problems with trying to keep it fair and you can do it with live viewers and all that sort of stuff. So we turned to Gleam and apparently somewhere along the lines, instead of YouTube wanting to give us the tools to be able to host these contests and stuff on our channel, they've decided to make it harder for us to use tools being provided by third parties, allowing us to be able to uh, host these giveaways. So here's where we are today. Um, the reason why the link is no longer in that video is because less than 24 hours of me putting up that giveaway, the, I got an email from YouTube saying that the link was reported. Now that means somebody watching the video went and reported the link. That means some asshat out there was like, Jay's doing a giveaway and I don't like it. So they reported it. Probably because they were too dumb to not read the comments and see that we actually opened it up worldwide. Because one of the first complaints was that it wasn't a worldwide giveaway. And the reason why I usually do that with something like a system is more often than not, the person that would win the system would be hit with like anywhere between $500 to $1,000 worth of a tax bill just to receive the component. We're not gonna pay that obviously because we have, don't have a mechanism for that. And then in order for us to stay legal and compliant, we can't list it as a free gift with a $0 value. So we can't do that because then that's not legal on our end. So we decided to go ahead and open it up worldwide. NZXT was gracious enough to do that 
because NZXT supplied the PC. And then we're hit with this uh, reported link from Gleam. And basically what they said was, we found your link to be in violation of our terms of service on YouTube. We've decided not to take action at this time. However, if a link appears on this video again, we are going to hit you with a strike. Now, a strike is a major deal for YouTube because one, it removes you from the recommended channels lists. You no longer become a preferred channel and when it comes to the AdSense and stuff like that, which is a huge chunk of how we make our income around here. I can pay my employees, they can pay their bills, we can pay our bills as a company. Obviously, my livelihood as well. Two, you lose all live streaming functionality, which I don't really use that often, but still, it puts you in a negative standing on YouTube. And it affects everything. Ask Kyle, it, it, it can affect your video standings, it can affect your views, it can affect everything because YouTube will no longer push your content like it would before because it now looks at you as a liability and a risk. So that's why the link disappeared from that video and I basically said go to my Twitter to find out what's going on because um, I just basically said, look, I don't know how to do this now. The giveaway is still gonna happen. All the entries that were in there are still there but I don't know how best to proceed with this now to stay in compliance with YouTube and still stay with the fairness and the spirit of this giveaway. So the problem is YouTube, they look at this as a fake engagement um, creator. When you put a link like this, you're having all these people come to your channel, you're having them like videos, you're having them watch videos, and they're calling that fake engagement. Here's the problem with my giveaway and why this really needed to be reviewed by a human, which is something we've talked about forever. YouTube and Google rely entirely on AI for like 99% of these claims and these reports before a human gets involved, which is why Lin uh, Linus as well, but which is why um, Kyle got a strike and then had to get it repaired a day or two later because a human never reviewed it. It just automatically, you're guilty until we determine that you're not. Um, the same thing applies here because what they said was that it, it, it forces fake engagement. The problem is, I had four entries, four. I had four entries on this giveaway. None of them were required. One was uh, go to Twitter, one was, um, or follow on Twitter, one was go to my YouTube channel and just have a look at it. And then I, I, there was one that was like tweet about the giveaway or whatever. None of it was required, none of it was mandatory. But they said it was promoting fake engagement on YouTube. The problem is the only way you would have ever seen the link to begin with, because I didn't even put the link in my Twitter, was to be on my YouTube channel already watching the video telling you about the giveaway. So how that could be fake engagement, considering you're already on the channel, uh, is beyond me, so I have no idea. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put that link on my Twitter. And you guys can go and find it. I think it's pretty obvious what my Twitter name is gonna be. I'm not gonna put a link to it down below, although YouTube does allow you to put your social media links in the header of your channel so people can click on it to go to Twitter, because what they said was also a violation is a link that takes you off the platform but they let you put links to your social media in your channel, which takes you off the platform. So it's like, that's against the, tour, the, the terms of service here, but not here. So anyway, that's the problem with YouTube. This could all be avoided if YouTube was willing to just give you the tools you needed for us to be able to do the things we wanna do. So this brings me around to kind of the next point. This is gonna be my last giveaway. I've given away more than $100,000 in products since I started this channel, and I'm extremely proud of that. I mean, yeah, there may be a lot of products still sitting behind us, but we have a whole pile of product over there that's slated for giveaways and a few things that we're doing like a fire sale with. It's sad that you guys are gonna kind of suffer from this now because I'm refusing to do giveaways anymore. In fact, we had a whole nother high-end system giveaway slated to go right after this one because you guys know I like to do giveaways like every quarter. And so that's now been canceled. And I told them I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not taking the risk. We get nothing out of it really, to be honest. I mean, we, we don't get any sort of like spike in channel growth or anything like that. We do these giveaways because it's fun to get back to community and it's also nice to get a little bit of a return out of it. Maybe get a little more exposure, get your name out there, get some people to find your channel. But uh, at this point, all you're getting is grief from YouTube. These giveaways are unfortunately on my channel going to cease to exist. But I'll still do stuff on Twitter. So if you guys wanna follow over there, I will still do some, some giveaways over there. Just haven't decided um, what yet. But um, that's, that's just, I had to make this video explaining, look, what, why Jay put up a giveaway video and then suddenly the link is gone and then everything's quiet. Like what is going, is Jay frauding us? Is Jay being a scam? No, this is what's happened and this is how I'm having to handle this now. So if you guys go to my social media, that starts with a T, you will find a link to the giveaway where you can still continue to enter. If you've already entered, you're still there, you're still good. There's no issues there. We're still gonna be using Gleam 
for this particular giveaway. It's just the link is no longer existent. Now, one other thing I wanted to ask from you guys is what kind of content do you want to see from us? Do you, we, we like doing builds. We like doing the overclock challenge. We have some major overclocking stuff we're getting ready to do um, with that, what is it? 3975X, whatever it's called? 3175, that's a big, oh, damn. I want the 3975, not the 31. But anyway, we're gonna be doing some more stuff with that. Obviously, we've got Computex coming up in a few months. Um, lots of fun content. We've got some philanthropy stuff. We're actually doing a thing with Make-A-Wish. You guys are gonna see that coming up soon. So we got a lot of fun stuff planned. It just kind of sucks that these wrenches get thrown into our into the mix on the platform at which we reside because they can't get with the times and give us the tools that we need as content creators. So I'm sorry that this video was such a downer, but I felt like this explanation was, was important. And if I had put this out on Twitter, it would have only been seen by a fraction of people and not the people that I'm targeting, which is my YouTube audience. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment down below with the kind of content you'd like to see later this year, whether it be builds, overclocking, guides, let us know. We like to take those and we generate our ideas based on that. So I'm gonna go, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck on the giveaway. And again, sorry that we're not gonna be doing any more on this platform in the future. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. So that's why the... <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> you get to hear that in high def. America.